Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the 6-speed manual Tacoma and a little bit of an issue they have. So, it has a clutch, like all manuals, and inside this clutch there's a clutch accumulator. Now this adds pressure to that clutch and makes the pedal kind of feel a little bit weird and it's hard to drive it. So today on my dad's truck, we're going to be changing that out and seeing if I want to do it to mine. It's a little bit of a mod, a little bit of DIY, but stick around, it's going to be worth it. Let's hop in and install dad. you have anything to say before we do any installs? Man, the main reason I want to do it is because it slows the pedal down on when it comes back out. That's why I want to do it. I'm, I like to quick shift a lot, and then sometimes that pedal won't come back up, and I'll be redlined before it gets the pedal out. So that, and then in the winter time, it's really apparent when that fluid's cold, it, it, it gets smashed in that plate. That's what I wanted to do. All right, guys, let's hop in this install, see what it's going to take, see if it's hard. Let's go. So here's where we're at. We took this plate out. Now Trent is going to use this plate as plates and it's got a concave thing for the fluid to come out of. I'm going to grind this piece out between these two so the fluid can just transfer over there and not be smashed between this plate like that. That plate smashes the fluid and restricts the flow. I'm going to grind this out so the flow stays the same as these two channels. All right, guys, this is what it looks like after I'm done grinding it. I'm just going to put it back together the way the factory was. Once again, this is Trent's that we're going to put in his truck. He opted for this because we want to compare the two and see what the differences would be. I'm just going to put this back together. I have no more area where it's going to smash the fluid and restrict it. Should be good to go. So there it is all put back together. Uh, torqued everything. I'm not going to put the skid plate on and everything in the dust shield to protect it until I fill it up and make sure there's no leaks. As you can see, we took the drive shaft out for easier access. I'm not saying you have to, I'm just saying it made life a lot better. Uh, if you noticed in the, the beginning there, I was showing the inside of this thing and uh, it kind of concerned me, all the corrosion that was in there. We cleaned up the best we could, put it back together, see what happens. That's the install done pretty straightforward. I know I didn't show too much of the install, a little bit preoccupied, but not a big deal. This isn't a step-by-step -step how to do it. I just like showing you our experience. Dad, go ahead. Let us know what you thought about the installs that you basically did on your own. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I did pull the drive shaft out because it's way easier to get to everything with a drive shaft out. If you don't have it out, you're going to be fighting to get the top shield bolts and everything. That, and you might want to get a vacuum pump to complete the clutch, especially if you're doing it by yourself. You're going to need that. No, all in all, probably about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes. That includes grinding out the valley and everything like that. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. And at the end of the day, way happier with the clutch. It shifts better. I can feel everything that it's doing now. I like it. You can downshift better. It doesn't have that weird hesitation or that clunky, you're going to wait for it to get to a certain point before it works. So I'm glad all that's gone and it works great. Yeah, I was pretty impressed. I took it for a drive. I thought it handled really good. It did make the pedal a little bit lighter because that fluid's not under so much pressure now. So it made the pedal a little bit lighter, but if you think your pedal is too heavy for you, I know some people complain about the clutch and it working their leg out. It makes it a little bit lighter. Personally for me though, I decided I'm not gonna do it on my truck and I'm not gonna use that plate. Not really any big reason. The only reason why I didn't want to do it was because I'm driving my truck, we are living out of this. I have a big journey ahead of me, about 500, 1,000 miles before I'm gonna be able to work on this again. So I just don't want to mess with it. I've been driving the truck about 32, 35,000 miles now with the clutch how it is. I'm pretty used to it. So I'm worried that I'm going to change things and either not going to like it or I'm going to end up burning the clutch out because I'm used to how it is now. I don't think that will happen, but it could. I'm weird like that. Another reason why I didn't want to change it out because the TRD off-road and TRD Sport are a little bit different. So the process is different on my truck because the clutch master cylinder and the brake system are combined. So that fluid is shared. So another thought process was, if I drain all this fluid out, are my brakes gonna never feel the same again? It's just a lot, I just don't wanna mess with the truck. I'm really happy with how it is. All right guys, so that's basically the process of doing the clutch accumulator delete on the Tacoma with the six-speed manual. Dad, do you have anything else you wanna let these guys know about? Uh, if you're unhappy with your clutch, just pull the trigger. It makes it a thousand times better, and I'm pretty certain anybody can do it. I think you'd be all right. Just get in there and grind away at it, don't hesitate. Also, side note, with all the work we've been doing on modern-day Viking Blue Tacoma, 
I went ahead and bought myself a new set of wheels and tires. Check them out. <laughs> As always, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, it means a ton to me. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. We're almost there, getting so close. Don't look at me like that, we're getting close. Thanks for watching, guys. Check this video out right here, it's pretty good. I'll see you in the next one.